Hello my friends, welcome to a new episode. In this episode I'm going to show you three things with different levels of development. Starting with this, which is uh, one of the most sophisticated environments we are going to use for the project, which is like the main uh, shopping center of the Star Cruise ship. You can see that on both sides we need to model different uh, stores and some decorations like for example some little trees, some screens, more lights and obviously all this following the same logic we have been using for the Argos cockpit with these very painterly textures resembling as much as possible a typical anime background painting. There's still a lot of work to do here because uh, not even the modeling is completely finished. We are still working on just one half of the full space but the other half should be in fact pretty similar except for those cafeterias, uh, the, next, the one next to the elevator and the other more or less at the center. Another new element is this ship. Uh, this is an interceptor, also known as Slicks. Two of these ships travel inside the Argos. We also try to give them a vintage feeling with all these um, thrusters for uh, impulse and braking and of course all these little lights properly configured and we are following the same logic we used for the Argos and the robots with the specularity and here you can see that with our technique for uh, handling the creases using this uh, softening with the bump map we achieved this effect in which the, the light reflection kind of flows along the, the creases Pretty similar to anime from the 80s and 90s. Another interesting effect was what we did with the thrusters. In this case it's just a cylinder and it's mapped with this uh, texture which is an um, image sequence. Here you can see all the images forming the sequence. And we used it as an animation texture which is also cyclical so it can last whatever you want. And that into an emission shader so yeah, we press play and you can see the effect working as it should. And we finish with this new character, which is something like the protagonist of the story. He's a young detective who happens to be working with the guys in the Argos and he will have to establish some kind of negotiations with the hijackers of the space cruise ship. It is a very simple design because it's just a regular guy trapped by the circumstances except for the fact that he will have to use like three or four different outfits throughout the whole story. We have used the same techniques we are using with the other characters but of course he needs a little more work here in the outfits, in the clothes and of course the hair. The specular effect it is done but we still need to add some little lines and maybe some other work on the topology. So this is what I got to show you for today. I hope to have one of these completely finished for the next video. So stay tuned and take care. Adios.